Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad, coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. Pakistan and US have agreed to push for an intra-Afghan dialogue to seek a political solution in Afghanistan. US Special Envoy Zalmi Khalilzad briefed Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi on his recent engagements in the region for Afghan peace. Khalil Zad is in Islamabad, where he will also meet Prime Minister Imran Khan to discuss the Afghan peace process. Next up, at least 21 people have been killed in a car bomb explosion in Colombia's capital, Bogota. Colombian police said 68 others were injured after the attacker rammed the explosives-laden car into a police training school. Meanwhile, in a revamped U.S. missile defense strategy, Washington has called North Korea an ongoing and extraordinary threat. U.S. President Trump previously said that Pyongyang's threat had been eliminated. North Korea's lead negotiator Kim Yong-chol is in Washington aimed at denuclearization. To finalize a second, President Emmanuel Macron said the death of Americans in Syria proves that the fight against extremism was not yet over. And Russia has accused Kosovo of escalating regional tensions by setting up its own army. Speaking to reporters in Serbia, Russia's President Vladimir Putin said Kosovo's decision could destabilize the region.